622, welcome back. The proposed Chinese corn milling plant near the Grand Forks Air Force Base has now become an issue far beyond the Grand Forks area. It's under scrutiny in Washington from military and national security officials to our own U.S. senators. As I report, North Dakota and its involvement with China are back in the spotlight. Last week, we told you Senators Kevin Kramer and John Hoven joined Senator Marco Rubio, the leading Republican on Senate Intelligence, calling on the Committee on Foreign Investments in the United States, or CFIUS, to review Chinese company Fufang Group's purchase of 370 acres of farmland 12 miles from the Grand Forks Air Force Base. We were able to catch Senator Hoven by phone between flights the day after he submitted the letter to CFIUS Chair, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Making sure that the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States takes a good hard look to make sure uh, that they answer any questions as far as any national security implications uh, for the plant, uh, specifically relative to the Grand Forks Air Force Base. So, as you'll see, the city has uh, already advocated doing that. In the letter, the senators wrote, quote, that Fufang operations could provide cover for the People's Republic of China surveillance or interference with missions located at the installation, given Fufang Group's reported ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Senator Kevin Kramer has long been opposed to the project. One question Kramer poses, there are plenty of other locations besides Grand Forks with more corn. One thing Grand Forks County and the area are not, is, are in the, they're not in the heart of, uh, of corn country. They're certainly on the fringe of it, but not in the heart of it. So I've always been a little bit suspicious of the value of the location to corn milling and, le and also concerned about the value of the location to, uh, to potential spying. Kramer tells us that Grand Forks Air Force Base houses sensitive drone technology connected to space and satellite operations, and the base is in the process right now of launching new, more sophisticated intelligent satellite reconnaissance systems. There's going to be a lot of data uplinks and downlinks of very important information that uh, we certainly wouldn't want to make, uh, make easy for our adversaries like China to be able to access. We spoke with Brigadier General Lawrence A. Mitchell of the U.S. Air Force. After retiring from the Air Force, General Mitchell worked in the National Security Agency as Director of Community Electronics Management Office. General Mitchell warns against letting Fufang so close. They're the dragon's eyes and ears, and all they're after is, you know, to find out everything that they can about our military. Our military capabilities, our technology, the political ramifications. A recent report reveals a memo from Major Jeremy Fox that circulated within the base. Fox wrote, some of the most sensitive elements of Grand Forks exist with the digital uplinks and downlinks inherent with unmanned air systems and their interaction with space-based assets. And any such data collection would present a costly national security risk causing grave damage to the United States' strategic advantages more activity right now than there has ever been. So uh, to say that they're just, you know, they're being friends uh, to me is, uh, I, I wouldn't characterize it that way at all. I would say that they're there to do something against us. Else, why would they pick that spot? There's a lot of other spots they can go where there's no one else around. And after years of our state investment board investing millions of dollars of our legacy fund into Chinese companies, many of which have been involved with Chinese surveillance and espionage, one could wonder if Chinese companies find North Dakota friendly for doing business. And we spent time trying to contact Fufang Group USA. Fufang does not have a U.S. website, and the only website we could find was Chinese. One, our browsers would not allow us to open the website, and we also have reached out to Grand Fork City Hall and the mayor's office. We've not heard back yet. And one thing, uh, you know, a lot of people who are in favor of the Fufang project tout its economic benefits. It would, mm -hmm. uh, it would create a lot of jobs, both in the construction Certainly. phase and, and to manage the plant, to operate the plant. Um, so, you know, regardless of where people stand on the issue, everyone supports Grand Forks Air Force Base. Right, absolutely. Yeah.